the mental health challenges that have always been there, but have been amplified and magnified as a result of COVID are almost creating this second pandemic. And I'm here today to encourage all of us to normalize and destigmatize talking about our brains because our mental health is so important and it's connected to everything that we do. How well do you think companies are doing on this uh, subject? There is a, um, a sneaking suspicion in some quarters that you provide a convenient tick, spot, tick box for businesses that perhaps need to deal with deeper rooted issues around maybe individual personnel. Yeah, well, Headspace, we provide a product called Headspace for Work, and we've done a ton of research. You know, we're an evidence based product that if you just use it for 10 days, you can actually feel 11% less stress and at 30 days up to 33%. So that's what I love about our product is that it's science backed, but we've learned that about 53% of workers across the US and the UK feel that their mental health benefits are essential and 89% think that their company should offer some type of benefit to themselves and not only to themselves, but to their family and to their dependents. Have you found that you've been universally welcomed where you've held discussions with business leaders? Any any pushback at all? We've had 500% increase in companies reaching out to us in the past 12 months. So it's been all positive. I think it's become an expectation, not only as a result of COVID, but taking care of your brain and your mind is akin to brushing your teeth now. It's something that you should wake up and do every day. And so companies are realizing that more and more and turning to us to say, how can you help us personalize and customize an experience that's right for our team?